hi guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome and hello in today's video i'm going to be doing this huge haul that i have i haven't done a haul in quite some time so if you guys are missing that well sit back relax and get you something to eat something to drink because this video is going to be quite quite long um so hopefully you guys enjoy so sit back and watch and see where I got everything from. And I'll leave the description to everything in the bottom. So if you have any questions or items that I didn't leave, just leave me a comment. And I'll make sure I get that to you as soon as I can. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. Okay, guys, um, so I'm going to start off with my Amazon order first. So I have items from Amazon, Etsy, AliExpress, and Dollar Tree. So, um, like I said, I'm going to start off with my Amazon order first. And the first thing I got was these um, zebra sandy bands. And these are the fine. Um, I needed some more of these. I normally get these from off of um, AliExpress, but I didn't replenish in time enough. And I know if I ordered them, they weren't going to get here on time. So I decided just to go ahead and pick up um, some from Amazon. And I've ordered these particular ones before, and they work really well. And um, yeah, so I think you get, I believe it's 100 I'm almost sure you get a hundred of these in here. Um, and then you also get, see that little mandrel piece right there? I believe you get two of those. I think it's two in here. Yeah, because there's a silver and then there's the gold. So these are really, really good. I always buy the zebra bands. I have the other ones, but I don't even use those, the brown ones. So these are my favorite to use. So I got those. And then the next thing I got, also from Amazon, okay, so I've done a review on a um, mini airbrush machine that I got from IGL Beauty, and I was saying that I wanted to find me some um, stencils, so I found some on Amazon, and this is one of the packs that I have. So I'm going to open it up. And I will be leaving all the links to all the items um, that I can in the description. So if you guys are interested in purchasing it, you can just go down there and um, check it out.
my next item I got from Etsy. And it came in this little pretty pink bag. my little invoice out the way and I ordered some glitters but first I want to show you guys the sample I mean the free samples that I got and the company is called all that glitters so this is a color shift and it's supposed to shift from purple blue and black and it just depends on how you hold it so like if I hold it this way, I can see the black and then I can see the purple. And then if I hold it this way, I can see some of the purple and I can see, well, I see a lot of purple, but I can see some of the blue in the background. I don't know how well it's coming up on camera, but yeah, you can see the blue and then the purple shift. And then depending on how you hold it this way, you can catch it and it looks black. At least on my end. Okay. So the next one. Is a free gift as well. And this one is. Blue, green, and pink. So like if I hold it this way. I can see the pink. But then it kind of looks kind of purplish to me. More so than pink. But the shift is there. You do see three colors. Because I see the green. And then when I turn it this way, as I'm turning it, I can see the blue if I hold it at this angle. I don't know if you can see it, but how well that comes up. But you can kind of see it right in there. You can see a hint of blue. At least on camera, from what I'm looking at, I can see a hint of blue. But if I'm just looking directly at the um, item I'm holding, I can see more blue than I can by looking at it on the camera. So I'm not sure how that's going to come across to you guys, but... You can kind of see, and then when you turn it that way, it gives that that pink purplish color. So yeah, so that one, like I said, it shifts blue, green, and pink. And that's from all that glitters. Now, what I was on the hunt for was this right here. I just love that mirror effect silver. Because mostly all my silver silvers are like holographic. But I don't have any any of them that have like that mirror finish to it. So I was kind of looking for, for that. And on their website, it didn't show. But it looks like it has some iridescent mixed in with it. And it is so gorgeous. I don't know how well that's going to come up either. But this is so freaking pretty. I cannot wait to use this. I cannot wait. Just look at that goodness. Oh, I just love glitter. It gets everywhere, but it be so pretty. And I believe this is a um an ounce or a half an ounce. I'll leave all the information in the um description box if you guys are interested in getting this. So I got that one. And then the last one that I got was this rose gold and it looks to me um more bronzy than rose gold but look at that that is so pretty because i have a sample of rose gold at work and i don't think it's this color it looks more pinkish but this is still pretty. This will be a color that I would definitely purchase. So I'm not mad at it. Um, but I'm probably going to look for another uh, rose gold. Okay, Shell. Opening up and getting glitter everywhere. But yeah, this is so pretty. So it's a, um, a mix. You can see it has some chunky and some small and some fine. So, and this is the same amount as the other bag. So, like I said, that's rose gold. And I'm not sure if they come in like, because this one says Lux Series. And then that one says Ultra Sparkle Angel Dust. So, I don't know if this is like part of a collection or not. Um, I just was on there and I saw it and I wanted to purchase it. So, 
if you guys wanted to do a screenshot if you want to look for those two that's those and they both like a uh, a mix of um chunky but it's not overly chunky so yeah so that's that then the next thing i got is from aliexpress so we're gonna dive right into that oh no i'm sorry this is not from aliexpress this is actually from ebay i had it in my aliexpress bag but so i love these spoons it's like a vintage spoon it has that little crystal on there and I've had this for quite some time. And I use this when I'm doing, like, um, the sugar nails. I'll use this to scoop it out and sprinkle on the nail. Um, I've also used it to, like, uh, when I'm doing pigment and I'm making my... I mean, not doing pigment, but when I'm making my own acrylic and I'm using the pigments that I have, I'll use this spoon as well. So, like I said, I've had this spoon for a while. And I dropped it. <laughs> and I was so hurt because this broke off. So instantly, I was like, oh, no, I got to buy another one. I got to buy another one. Because every time I bring this out, my clients always be like, oh, my God, you have the cutest stuff. That is so cute. That little spoon. So this is like my must-have. This is a must-have for me. So I was just like, oh, no. When this broke, I was like, mm-mm. But I eventually ordered two more. And then I came home, and I just put some Gorilla Glue on here. So it's kind of leaning. But, yeah. So I ordered two more. And these are the two that I ordered. Now, I will say, these don't feel as heavy as this one. i open it up because, I mean, they're the same thing. I'm going to open one for you and compare it to the other two. And these are really, really cheap. Like, they weren't expensive at all. So, from the looks of it, they look about the same size. Only thing is different is this diamond. I'm sorry. Is longer than the other one. Which I actually prefer it being smaller. And I didn't realize how big this was until I got this one. <laughs> I'm like, this crystal is long. <laughs> so that might be where the weight is coming from. But just looking at it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just all out of frame. But just looking at it uh, on my end, they pretty much look the same. But I think the material on this one is actually different from that. Because like I said, the weight on it, this one looks feels a little lighter. And it might not even be because of this. It might be because of the material that this one is made with versus that one. But they're still cute. And they're still going to get the job done. So now I have three. Okay, so now to AliExpress. Oh, I ordered those off of um, eBay, if I didn't mention it. I got it off eBay. And I think I paid like, I think it was less than $3 for both of them. So, that wasn't bad. Okay. So... The next thing I got was these stickers. Now, of course, Valentine's Day is over, but with the lips, you can always use the lips for anything, especially with the ones with the drip. So, I did pick up these stickers. So, that's that one. And by now, you've probably already seen this on other people's videos. So, I have it for next Valentine's. I wasn't really in that much of a hurry to use it because I have so much Valentine's Day stuff. So, it really didn't bother me that I didn't get it in time. And then, I got these. And these are also um, Valentine's Day stickers. I'm not sure how many comes in this pack, but you get quite a few. I don't know if I'm going to go through them all, but I'll kind of like show you a little bit. Mm. I'm sticking. So, yeah, I'm not going to go through all of these, but I'll leave it in the link. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, so that's those. Okay, so the next thing I got was some foils, and then I got this foil mesh. Now, I've seen a lot of people with this, and for the longest, I wasn't sure if I wanted to purchase this because I wasn't sure how this worked. I didn't know if it was like a traditional um, foil, um, and it just looked like it was meshed, but it's actually mesh. So, I found out you actually just cut it and encapsulate it in the nail. Okay. So, I'm going to take one of them out. So, they are pretty stiff. And then, you know, you have your the foil on there. Get out of the way. So, this is the white one with the gold foil. So, yeah, you just cut pieces of it however you want to design your nail. And then you just encapsulate it under um, acrylic or gel, whichever you prefer. So, I got those. And you get the green with the um, gold, the white with the gold, pink with the gold, a dark pink, purple with the gold. And then you get the white with the silver. And then the light pink with the gold. Then you get the black with the silver. The blue with the gold, the red with the gold, and I think it's, yeah, that's black. Black with gold. So I finally picked those up. And the next thing I got was these foils, the snakeskin foils. I feel like sometimes I be so late <laughs> getting stuff that's trending, but like I said, I have so much stuff that sometimes I be wondering if it's even worth me buying, but then, you know, you start seeing the other design, you be like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> I, now I need it, so <laughs> that's that, but I'm going to try this year going forward to kind of stay up on top of trends, but that stuff gets expensive after a while, man, all that stuff. So then I picked these up. So this is the camouflage and then it has some um, animal print, snake skin print. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one are snake skin print. And I don't know what that is. Oh, this is more like a another camouflage fall type. So yeah. And then one thing about nail art is like it'll be here today, gone tomorrow, and then it'll come back. So that's how I look at it. So like if you don't use it now, don't worry. Eventually, you'll get some use out of it. And then even if it's not trending, you can always do your own thing. You know, you ain't got to do exactly what everybody's doing. That's about being creative. Okay, so this little box is broken, but whatever. So then I picked up this pattern. And got those. And then I got these. And all of these, I've seen other people haul before. So I'm pretty sure if you are a YouTube person who watch haul videos a lot, you probably have already seen these. But if not, don't worry. I'll leave the link. <laughs> So, you can cop one if you decide you want to get it. So, yeah. So, that's those. And then, um, I got a free gift. Which was just right here. And it looks like it's just marble. I'm not going to even take it out. Because you can kind of see what it is from here. So, yeah. So, that's that. So, that's all I got from AliExpress. Now, the next thing I got... Um, all of these items are going to be from Dollar Tree. So I got these little rose, pink roses. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got those. And then I bought two of these. Let me see if I... There we go. It'll be all up in your face. Uh, and then they have this, 
I guess it's supposed to be like lavender or something on the tip. It's cute. Then it has a butterfly. And then you have those. And as you can tell, I'm a pink person. I always gravitate towards pink. But I know I need to get other colors because not every photo needs to have pink in it. But I got two of those because I thought they were so cute. So, yeah. so And those are the roses. So... And then I picked up these um, binders. But now that I have them, I'm not sure I want to use them for what I uh, decided. If you guys watch any of my videos, I did a haul video, well, organized video on how I store my new foils and those containers that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm not really too keen on those right now because... I don't like the fact that sometimes, you know, when you open your box, your foils pop out. That just irritates my soul. Because then you find, I find myself constantly trying to stuff it back in there, re-roll it, and it's just, it becomes a hassle sometimes. So what I decided to do was, maybe I'll buy some of like those baseball card sleeves and do that method. I'm still de debating because I wish this was more sturdier. And not so flimsy. So I'm not sure exactly how that will work. But I'll give it a try. Um, so I picked up two. So I got this one. I thought this was so cute. So these are hearts. In different colors. And of course what attracted me was the pink. <laughs> and then I got the purple one. That says shine. And it also has hearts on the side too. So yeah. So we want to see. You know one thing about. When you do nails or if you know whether you're a professional or you just do it at home for you know as a hobby for yourself, you buy a lot and that stuff piles up and it gets everywhere. So you try to find different ways and methods that's gonna work with you for your for your space that you have. So I'm in the process of doing that now, just trying to figure out what's gonna work best for me and not having stuff all over the place. So then the next thing I picked up was, I got these hooks, because so I saw this idea on an, another YouTuber's video. She has a um, a polish rack, and she had the hooks on the side, and she would showcase like whatever new um, swatch, swatches she done, whether it be gel polish, acrylic, or um, uh, glitter, or whatever the case may be. She had on sitting on this on the side of the um, polish rack. And I thought that was a cool idea. So I picked these up for that. Because um, I want to do that too. Because I get a lot of my clients like, what you got new? What you got new? And then I have to try to remember and go searching. So I figure that will probably be easier. So I can just say, hey, these are all new. And they can just kind of go through it. But I got a lot of clients that don't care. They be like, do whatever you want to do. <laughs> but then you got those ones that want to pick their idea. Which is fine. So... And then I picked up these um, coins from there as well for St. Um, Patty's Day. Just as background props. So I got that. And then I got these Sean Rock, their phone. So we got the lighter green and the darker green. And then I saw these cute little markers. They um, chalk writers they're erasable i plan on buying me a uh a mini fridge and you can write on it so i saw these and i was like oh yeah i'm definitely going to get this so and then i can have little things on there that my clients can see so i got it in gold and then i got it in silver and then i bought another metallic pen but i don't think this one is erasable but if not, I'll just use this, you know, to jot notes and stuff down with. So, it looks like it's like a rose gold color. So, I picked up that. And then, I needed some some tape, some transparent tape. So, you get two in the pack, a dollar. And then, last but not least, I bought this little black wire waste basket. As you can tell, it's not tall at all. If you're anything like me... I have this thing where every time I'm finished with something, I need this. I have to put it back right away. And I find myself wasting a lot of time when I do that because I don't like clutter. And I don't like seeing it and sitting out everywhere. 
So I said, well, you know what? Let me just get something I can just throw everything in and at least get it out the way. So I won't have this. Oh, I need to put it up. I need to put it up. I can't have it on my desk. I could just put it in this basket, move it over to the side. So I picked this up. So hopefully that will work. I'm going to start using it actually today. Well, when you see this video, I've already been and took this stuff to work. But yeah, so I got that. Okay, guys, so that's the end of this haul. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment if you have any. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. So please stay safe, stay blessed. Peace out.